man's conquest of space began in earnest at the turn of the 21st century, with the invention of the warp drive. It was the dawn of a new era of space exploration and of war with the alien races. The year is 2009. Territorial disputes between humans and the Romulans have escalated into the Romulan War. The Terran Defense Force Space Fleet has successfully gained control of space around the Romulan homeworld, but the war is far from over. Heavy resistance by Romulan fortifications known as citadels has brought TDF ground forces to the brink of defeat. On a battlefield where retreat is not an option, unnamed soldiers fight on. What the fuck? Hello, indie game lovers. Slushy here. Today we're going to be having a look at Gigantic Army. This is a 2D scrolling shoot 'em up. It was sent to me by New Media. They've always been really nice to me. Just send me games when they're released, so I figure we should check it out. So as you may have guessed from the title screen, we're piloting a mech suit. We're a bit of a badass. Now, this screen allows us to choose from three different primary weapons and three different special weapons. They each have different advantages and disadvantages. Some are more accurate. Some allow you to carry extra special weapon ammo. Now, what combination do I take? I think I'll take... The assault rifle and the missile pod, but I do like beams. I might take the beam. So, February 25th, 2009. The journey over wasn't bad, but here's where things start to get hairy. We'd settled into orbit over Remulon, and the Remulon chicks have got the worst case of hairy armpits I've ever seen. Oh, I'm not going to read all this. I just want to shoot stuff. Let's skip through it. When, I, when I'm playing this sort of a game, I don't care too much for storyline. Like, one of my favorites was Contra, and that... I can't remember that having too much uh, storyline. Contra Spirit, Super Pro Protector, if you're in the wet. Like, if you're in Australia, which is such a stupid name. Um, okay, so we've got a jetpack, or a... Yeah, I guess we'd call it... I'm just going to call it a jetpack. Fuck it. We have power-ups, okay, and those things, so... Did I miss one? Or did I already get it? I think that was a time bonus, I didn't pay that much attention. Here we have some filthy Remulons. Oh, we got a dash move. Sweet. Okay, uh, I want to test out my special weapon, but I should really save it, I guess. I'm imagining this is the sort of game that's going to have some big, filthy boss at the end of each level. Uh, what other buttons have we got? We block, okay. Shit, I should have blocked that. That would have been perfect time to use block. Block. <laughs> that's, I like that. So the actual gun is like, it's uh, controlled in a manner where, oh shit, oh I used my special weapon, what a fat thumb that is, fat fingered it. Yeah, the gun I was trying to say, um, it stays wherever you left it last, so you can't like switch really quickly, but I'm, I've got the feeling that's, you know, more realistic to what these, fuck, I blocked and turned around, what a dick, and I blocked too late. Yeah, I got a feeling it's a bit more realistic to what a mech suit would be like. I don't think you'd be able to move your arm up and down on demand, so I'm not totally unhappy with that control scheme. Let's. I don't really have to shoot these guys. I probably should be going for time, so maybe I'll move on. Oh, you idiot! Best time to dash is when you're on a small platform. What's coming up? I don't like. The look at this. It looks like it's an open area for a bus fight. We've got some oh, we've got some dead vehicles, some wreckage. Oh, here it comes, fuck. Okay. Um, I'm guessing the weak spot is that thing that kind of looks like a head with a crown or whatever. Let's give it a mexi laser. That did that do anything? Oh, I think I aimed it incorrectly. Oh fucking take the mexi laser! I'm calling it mexi laser because I'm a big fan of Salty Bet. And uh Oh shit, any dodgy Dragon Ball Z character over there that has a laser is usually pretty cool. And a lot of the time it's dubbed a Mexican laser. Mexi laser, I don't know why. I think I do know why, but hey, that's racist. Oh, you can move your shield as well. Awesome. Jump your bullets full. I don't need a shield. Is that all you got? Come on. I guess this is the first level. They've got to make it so even people like Slushy can get through. Oh, come on, come on. I spoke too soon. I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me on a plate right now. Oh, does time actually run out? I can't see. Um, where is it? I'm not, no, I'm not looking around. Fuck that. Maybe that's why you need the time bonuses. 
Yeah, it does count down there. It is right in the middle of the screen, fool. What's that? Okay. Fucking die. Oh, get up there. Power up, hopefully. Yeah. That assault rifle, that attack speed now. Oh, aim, aim. Aiming like a one eyed something that's funny. Insert joke. It's concentrating too much. Okay. I just want to finish the level. I've been playing so badly lately in my videos. This is the boss. Fuck me. Holy shit. Okay. Target. I've got no special. Oh, those feet hurt. No. Nope. Block. Oh, the block killed it. That was so fucking awesome. Now I'm dead, though. Hmm. Probably a good time to end it, I guess. Just a short video. Thanks to New Media for always looking after me and sending me fucking Steam keys whenever they release something. Um, New Media, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I'm going to get this wrong now, probably. But they're responsible for a lot of localization of Japanese indie games, and they publish them for people like me in the West to play them. So thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. Catch you guys later. I'm actually going to play this again. Save replay. Does that mean I can watch how bad I was? Well, I've already recorded it, so I don't need to.